All right, let's look at another question, an NBME style multiple choice questions related to clinical neurology uh, for NBME and USMLE exams. These have been submitted, written and submitted by our medical students. So the question is for a 68 year old male who presents to the emergency department with right-sided arm and leg weakness and in coordination of three days duration. So again, patient is presenting after three days. So it has to be something unusual and odd uh, because often, so such an acute onset of right side arm and leg weakness, and you would think about a stroke and you want to present right away. He first noticed symptoms when trying to use his iPad and that he could not accurately press the intended buttons. So there was either weakness or incoordination. His temperature, and again, the handedness is missing in this question, which is pretty bad because you want to know if he's right-handed or left-handed. In a right-handed, he's getting a dominant hand uh, symptoms. Uh, which they will then you decide help you decide where the language might be and if the language should be affected by a hemispheric involvement or not. So it's very significant to know the handedness on these kind of questions. So I'm assuming he's right-handed and that's why he was trying to use his iPad with his right hand and he couldn't uh, press the button right. So that was the onset of the right side down and leg like weakness. His temperature is normal, blood pressure is slightly elevated, pulse and respirations are normal. Patient reports that he lives out of his car, so he's homeless and does not have easy access to a kitchen. Upon examination, well, whoa, 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 whoa. So that is interesting information and I'm puzzling why we need that information. Why not having an easy access to kitchen is significant in this question. Remember, when a question is being written, all information that you're giving has to have a reason uh, and unnecessary information is not a good thing. Um, upon examination, the patient has a right facial droop, mild dysarthria, right arm and leg weakness of four out of five, and impaired finger to nose coordination on the right side. So impaired coordination, right arm and leg weakness. By the way, with, with weakness, although the weakness is mild, but with weakness, you often don't uh, comment on incoordination too strongly because that incoordination often... So if you're saying finger nose incoordination, then are you trying to imply ataxia on top of the weakness or is it just an, you know incoordination because of the weakness? You know, if, if you are weak, then your movement will be impaired and would look uh, you know incoordinated. Um, so that's why you know unless you're trying to say ataxia we wouldn't stress on the incoordination because weakness can cause it. He displays normal strength and coordination on the left. So the, and the patient has intact sensation, vibration senses bilaterally. So pure motor deficit. So pure motor problem on the right side involving phase in a patient. Uh, and what is the most likely side of this lesion? So it has to be a lacunar stroke if it's a pure motor stroke uh, and a pure motor stroke it could still be a cortical, but more likely to be lacunar. So there are five lacunar syndrome. There's a pure motor, a pure sensory, mixed motor sensory. And then there is a taxic dysarthria. And then there is a fifth one. What is the fifth one? A clumsy hand syndrome, clumsy hand syndrome. So the question, if it's a right-sided one, it's a left-sided lesion, unlikely to be thalamus because there is no sensory involvement. On the left side, the options given are pawns and internal capsule. It's unlikely to be pons because there is no cranial nerve involvement and it's not a dense hemiplegia, meaning that the weakness is only four out of five, which is mild. A dense hemiplegia will be a weakness of three out of five or more and equal in arm and leg. So although it seems to be equal weakness on right arm and leg, but it's very mild, which goes against a dense hemiplegia. So the left internal capsule seems to be the most likely uh, scenario for this uh, pure motor sensory, uh, pure motor lacunar syndrome, pure motor uh, lacunar stroke. Um, Presentation after three days is unusual. Uh, he doesn't have a uh, language deficit. So we need to know if he's right-handed, if he's right-handed. If it was a cortical stroke, motor cortical stroke, then there should be language aphasia, but there is none, which goes for a lacunar stroke. Um, there is um, incoordination again, as I said, is uh, all uh, either we're trying to make this a uh, ataxic dysarthria, then there shouldn't be right arm and leg weakness. Uh, and only ataxia and dysarthria with the like nerve stroke, or if it's a pure motor stroke, then incoordination is likely just due to from the weakness. So I'm going to stick with left internal capsule. Let's see what the question writers uh, came up with as the answer. And left internal capsule. So I got that one right. And we'll stop here and review another question later.